But the Queen's death is sadly not the only traumatic event that Britain has had to deal with this week. Because on Tuesday, Liz Truss, basically Margaret Thatcher if she were high on glue, became <laughs> its new Prime Minister. You may remember when we were covering the battle to replace Boris Johnson a few weeks ago, we introduced you to this iconic moment. In December, I'll be in Beijing opening up new pork markets. Excellent. I genuinely don't think she could have gotten a more tepid response to I'll be opening up new pork markets if that audience was literally full of pigs. <laughs> and if you think she learned anything after that about the danger of holding for applause after making a ludicrous statement, just watch the speech that she gave to a party on Monday where she tried to pay tribute to her predecessor. Boris, you got Brexit done. You crushed Jeremy Corbyn. You rolled out the vaccine and you stood up to Vladimir Putin. You were admired from Kiev to Carlisle. <laughs> okay, a couple of things there. First, the UK goes above Carlisle, so that's basically admission that everyone north of this point fucking hates Boris, which is not untrue. And second, praising Boris Johnson isn't how you get an audience to love you. As we all now know, the way to do that is to have a Chilean child Superman <laughs> ride around you. That's the only way to distract people from the stupidity of what you just said. <laughs> Liz Truss is now facing a multitude of problems, with the most pressing being that the fact that due to factors like COVID and Russia's war in Ukraine, British households face an 80% increase on their energy bills starting next month, which is clearly terrifying and somehow made even grimmer by how one daytime show tried to deal with it. How well, are your energy bills? Are you a bit worried about it all? Oh, major. Yeah. Are you? I've got, I've got one of these prepayment meters and it's absolutely murder. Oh, God. Right, well, let's hope it lands on one of those then. Whatever, right. you're going to win some money, so don't go. worry. Here yep. we go. £1,000 oh, or energy down. bill. £1,000 or energy bill. It is going to be... Energy bill! Oh my god, thank we're, you. We're paying your energy bill for four months. Oh, fantastic. No worries. Wow! That is so bleak! For those of you who are not familiar with British TV, that's from a programme called Orwellian Nightmare Doom Spiral this morning. <laughs> Trust has now proposed limiting energy prices, which could reportedly cost the government more than £100 billion. And many have suggested that rather than passing that cost along to taxpayers, some of it should be recouped through a new so-called windfall tax on oil and gas companies who've made huge profits during the price spike for doing absolutely nothing. But Trust has no interest in doing that. One thing I absolutely don't support is a windfall tax. I think it's a labour idea. It's all about bashing business, and it sends the wrong message to international investors and to the public. I don't think profit is a dirty word, and the fact it's become a dirty word in our society is a massive problem. Because there are, you know, in this audience today, we have hundreds of people who run businesses and make a profit, and I think that's a good thing. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Look, I'm just gonna say this, and uh, you may not like it, but it doesn't make it any less true. The nicest thing the Queen of England ever did for anyone was die the week that woman became Prime Minister. <laughs> because for at least a week, she's not going to be getting justifiably destroyed for answers like that. Look, things are pretty bleak in the UK right now. This fucking guy is about to be on all the money. And morning TV is now basically the Hunger Games. But don't worry, Britain. Your future is now securely in the hands of dollar store British Leslie Nope here. Everything's going to be fine. <laughs>